Hello, we are back with SAP. The title of the stream is Doctors... I was going to say, what was it? Doctors hate him or doctors say you must buy this one animal to win in the weekly pack. And it's actually true. So I've been using this strategy in my... Uh, and, and I do want to say, by the way, I'm using this strategy in my videos right now because I was getting my butt kicked. I was getting uh, killed constantly by people using scumbag strategies, so I became the scumbag myself. So if you think that I'm the scumbag, I'm simply the scumbag that got created by the other scumbags. So basically, you did this. Society did this. And, and does nobody see how messed up this is? We're playing the weekly pack. My strategy on the weekly pack, whenever possible, by the way, there have been some changes um, that we'll look to as we, uh, as we see what the animals are here. Um, basically get a peacock. A peacock comes out. It's like a two, five or something like that, that scales every time it gets hit. When the peacock comes out at two, five, you just start feeding it a shitload of broccoli. And then in the weekly pack right now, here's my hypothesis. Until you get very far into the, the rounds, there's no way for, it's almost impossible to kill a unit that has like 30 HP. There's no uh, scorpion. You know, you got to wait for a walrus to come out maybe later to get some death touch. There, there's just no way for it to happen. So if you just create a unit that scales when it has a hurt trigger and then you give it a ton of HP, it goes off. It gets a disproportionate benefit. But I will say for now, give me a toucan. I'll take two igu iguanas because we got two iguanas. An otter now has been changed, okay? So on level one, when you buy it, it gives one one to a random friend. That was normal. However, on level two, it doesn't give two two to a random friend. It gives one one to two random friends. So as a result, I think we can still buy it at level one. At level two, it's probably a little bit worse now, but that's okay. Um, let's be a helpless puppy. Oh, you wouldn't hurt a you wouldn't hurt a helpless puppy, would you? So leech peacock. I like where your head's at, but uh, Leech doesn't exist in this pack right now. Also, I have a problem with Leech. I think Leech needs to create a disproportionate benefit, in my opinion. I guess it does on a hurt trigger. That's a good point. Run the casino? My brother in Christ, we ran the casino. You got nothing to worry about. Except for the... You got to wait around for the next casino. I, I feel like if the Leech should suck one HP from an enemy, or from a, from a colleague and then generate two HP for itself. Just because other, I see so many times on pack three, you like, I know that's level two, but that's nine gold investment plus a good shop. Other, you see so many runs that like have a leech and the leech is like a two ten, and then the unit in front of it is just like a, it's like a two one because it's been sucked to death. Like you're just shuffling stats around. I guess to enable a hurt trigger means something, but okay. Now, the bird has been changed. It gives a random friend plus one attack. So here's the deal, okay? This is worse than it used to be, but it's better if the luck works out for you because you don't necessarily have to have your good unit at the back. <laughs> so it's kind of like you're a little bit of like a 3-1, but I kind of like it because... I mean, this is just a hunch, you know? This is my first time using it. I kind of like it right now. Because I have three units that have three HP, if one of those gets the buff, I would be I would be pogging. Give me one of these. Hope your opponents don't have iguanas, and then we start the peacock watch next turn. Okay, buffed himself. That's unfortunate. I mean, a three one is definitely better than a two one. Uh, they have several iguanas, but my stats are a lot better. I'm not sweating this, man. Our team is actually gonna we're gonna do this. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with that. Okay, a peacock. Check this out. You're still going to level. Then you're going to take the peacock, which is what we just asked for. Now, normally, the strategy I had used with this is... Um, uh, have By this point, I would already have a level 2 panda. And then the panda would also buff the peacock. But here's the deal. The broccoli is such a disproportionate benefit, okay? You lose one attack... On your first broccoli, you gain 4 HP. So this goes from a 2-5 to a 1-9 that when it gets hit, becomes a 5-9. It's, it's absurd. 
I re and I, I hate to say it, this is why I'm going to take advantage of this while the stream lasts, because once the, once the cat's out of the damn bag, it can't go back in. But I really feel like I, I got a 10-win run easily with the peacock, and I literally only had one peacock. And it was my first time ever trying the stat. Now, we may still lose to an ox here just because oxes are, like, insane, but... That's, that's life, by the way. We win these. I'm telling you, peacock broccoli is like the new... If When you see an ox, it's like, you know how I go off when I see an ox? Peacock broccoli is the new version of you're a scumbag, which is why I'm taking advantage of it while the opportunity is still around. <laughs> now, if we could give maybe garlic to our toucan and then pass it back i'd be stoked i don't think we need more iguanas i would uh we're, we're not there yet let's let's take an otter real quick i'll live with that a croissant on the peacock here's the thing the croissant can be pretty good but i preferred when possible to give a croissant to my panda so that it scales and then gives unfettered stats to our peacock because when you give the croissant to the peacock your broccoli starts to kind of fall off but that's okay. So you're seeing the strategy here. Peacock broccoli sucks. Okay, just one second. The Red Stoner ninety eight. Peacock broccoli sucks. Let's let's find out if this is true. Let's. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm simply saying, let's put it to a test. Let's let's put a, a bet on it. Okay, hold on. I definitely feel like you can, at this point, probably sell an otter. Although, I can, can I can I be a thousand percent honest with you? Ah, no. I, let's do it like this. And then, honestly, you should buff your panda with the croissant. That's the damn dream. Then you freeze this, you look for another panda. We didn't get one yet, but then garlic. Garlic on the toucan or garlic on the peacock will, will do wonders for us. Okay, they got their own peacock that's also quite strong, by the way. This is going to blow us out a little bit. This is just a strong team. I think you got to put respect on this team's name. The worst part of that is I think if that bee had lived, we would have won for one them. We still would have lost, probably, but... I've never gotten a level 2 peacock with this. A crab can help. A crab can be very efficient here. No question. I think you sell. <laughs> I think you sell. I think you buy a giraffe that buffs your panda. And then once we get the garlic, I think we can wait on you for a minute. I don't even know if we need the broccoli, but we'll, we'll talk about it. Once, once we get this going, oh, baby, don't stop till you're numb. I gotta admit, we're going up against some teams that are a little stronger than I thought they would be. I'm feeling like I'm, I'm getting rocked here. Hold on. Maybe the meta shifted and, and left me uh, behind. Yesterday, this was so consistent, it was going off to the extremes. Never mind, we're fine. Okay, one of these. So now you're coming out. You're a 1025. That's pretty solid. Why don't we give you some garlic? And why don't we give you one of these as well? And then you can't be here anymore. We'll put you here. And add a skunk to the squad. Believers, you should not be afraid. You still should not be afraid. Believers, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, the red stoner. Good point. Great, great point. Um, good, that's a good point. Um, let's pay, we'll pay out our um, doubters on that one. If you'll excuse me, I'm just going to change the title of my stream. Um, right now, the title of my stream is... Doctor Say One Animal You Must Buy to Win Sap. New title. I don't know, man. Just vibing. Well, 
That was my first bet, you monster. Uh, welcome to gambling. There's a reason that there are, like, uh, you know, support groups. There's not too many groups who are like, join this group if gambling saved your life. There's a lot of groups that are like, hey, join this group if your husband put his retirement account on Ben Simmons to hit 40 points tonight. Okay, put it back. We're running the casino once more. <laughs> it's, uh, if you didn't watch yesterday, I still know nothing about uh, basketball. I just, I dunk on Ben Simmons because chat laughs every time. <laughs> um, okay. I still need the peacock to work. I know it looks like copium, but just because it didn't work once, that doesn't mean it can't work again. Give me a, a double toucan. No iguanas coming around. Feeling, feeling fine. Let's be a leaking bush. How about that? The money, Skyler. My God, we won a round. Can you believe it? A lot of 76ers fans in the chat. Um, I don't know anything about basketball, but I do know that the Raptors are the best team in the NBA. So, like, I feel like if you're a 76ers fan, like, honestly, rip you. Because the Raptors, probably they're winning in four, if I had to guess. Is Simmons coming back? If Simmons is coming back, they're winning in three. What's happening here? We're winning. We're winning. I'm the best. Philly sports. Simmons doesn't play for the 76ers. He plays for the Nets. He plays for my Nets? Really? I love... I'm one of the biggest Nets fans I know. What the hell? Where does James Harden fit into the squad if we, if we got Ben Simmons now? Okay, give me one of these. Oh no, he's on Philly now? How the hell did that happen? What the hell? Okay, we, we can run this for now. I'm okay with this. Now we just gotta wait for a peacock to show up. The peacock can show up whenever. Um, by the way, this is an order si uh, situation. It is an order situation. You're not wrong. 1-8 iguana. That's gonna be a problem for me. Because I have a 1-3 Iguana. Combine... Yeah, maybe don't combine me yet. Definitely sell me. Definitely buff me. Definitely roll me. Not that interested. Give me some stats. Unfortunate, honestly. But should have known it was an, an option. Um, are we really gonna roll a two squad again just to get like a freaking fat toucan? I guess that's how this shit is gonna go down precisely. Now, hold on. There should be a way to apply broccoli so that we get, when we combine you, you're stronger. Like, I feel like if we put broccoli on the weaker panda, because its attack is only gonna count for one anyway, then when we combine, even on this round, but when we combine you, you're now going to be a 510, which is better. And also, I would say, like, the first height in, like, if you're going in ascending order, that I would describe as very tall. 510 is the first very tall height, in my opinion. Okay, they got, they got their own peacock. We're going to lose this one easily. Believers, it's happening. Are we watching the same game? not going that well but one more panda we're in this man i'm telling one more panda we're in this doesn't appeal to me that much although i gotta be honest a two cost apple you're probably getting past the point of when it would be like peak usefulness but i i actually think that you can make aardvark rat pop and i know that this looks crazy to you but basically, as long as your rat trades 1-1, one, one, then you're getting a guaranteed 2-3 here. And this rat is going to probably trade 2-1. Two, 
because it's getting that beautiful panda buff. I think we could give it a try at least. Sheepco. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Let me guess. You just made a, a lot of points on a, uh, on a doubter bet. And now you're paying it forward. Okay. Turns out we didn't really need the aardvark here, but it's the thought that counts anyway. I think we can sell an iguana and then try to get two aardvarks going for just a minute. At some point, a broccoli may actually make our aardvarks combine better. So you know what? Give me one roll. A level two panda. Holy cow. The problem is we don't want a whale that eats the rat. Because if you eat the rat, the enemy will likely still have five spaces. Which means that the rat will not spawn on the enemy team. That's unfortunate. Just move it. Anyone want to explain to this person why that doesn't work? The whale trigger is at start of battle. Just because you move your whale further into the position doesn't mean that their squad is going to have less than five people at the time when the trigger pops. I think you can't buy the whale. I think what you do instead is this and hope for some a, a beautiful little dream next turn. Where you can combine those. And I, I'm starting to realize the value of broccoli. If the enemy team has a panda, then, then it would work. You're not wrong there. That one's definitely true. Hold on, my rats go in sicko mode. Holy cow. Nice B. <clears throat> I was joking. Yeah, me too. Holy cow, four wins. Cheese is still in the weekly. That's fine. I'm not sweating that. These are not good enough. You're you're okay. You're in, you're interesting. You're interesting. You're an interesting unit. The only thing is, we only get apples out of mice. What the heck is a jerboa? It's got to be some Australian animal, right? If apples existed in this weekly, I think this would be Pog. But I have lost to that before. I'm just not willing to place a bet that we are going to encounter like a, a stupid number of mice from this point onwards. And maybe I'll regret that. But So if we're running this squad, which I really would prefer to not do for that much longer... Our Aardvark with the higher attack should continue to stack attacks so that when we combine, you'll be even stronger. This seems bad for me. It's actually fine? That's surprising. Dude, this Aardvark strat is kind of working. Now, I actually think like a level 2 rat is kind of sick too. Because then it spawns two rats, but, you know, the catch is that you have to be able to spawn two rats, which is also a, tr a tricky thing to, to create. Because you need to have the rat trade, like, you know, three for one or something. You don't need to go up a level at this point. You're interesting, but basically you're like a targeted salad. I'm not willing to combine our aardvarks for that just yet. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I guess I'm, I'm rolling. So we're basically saying this round we got no shot. No shot. An aardvark, though. Hold on. And a can. Okay. This round is not great. We would have lost no matter what. This is like the strongest team I've ever seen. It's the strongest team that's ever existed in... Uh, in Super Auto Pets history at this stage of the game. The whole squad is, is scaled out of the freaking doubloons. There's a way out of this. And I'm, I'm being real with you. We don't buy a can. We need to save our money. Freeze me. Combine me. A lion now goes... Here, so you're actually going to become like a 30-30 or something. I should have, I guess I could have canned you. That's true. 
That's pretty true. And then, <clears throat> let's put ourselves one away from the next lion in case we win this one. I mean, this is for believers. So if we draw this one, I feel very confident we'll win the next one. A draw or a win is a believer win. This is a pretty strong team, to be honest. I don't know how we're going to chunk through that ox. That's, that's a scary thing for me. Hold on. Is it working out just right? No, because it gives it more. It gives it more juice. Never mind. We're actually fine. Holy cow. Believers win. Easy. <laughs> All right. So now you're going to be a 24-22. You're going to be like a 50-50, basically. You're 50-40. Um, I honestly think our level 2 aardvark... Uh, you know, why not? Why not give it a try, at least? We might as well can once, just in case. Like, you know, we might get another can. We didn't, but that's okay. Another rat would also hit the spot. Like, a level 2 rat would give you an 8-12 buff on our aardvark, which is kind of sick. This feels okay. I mean, like, the reason I was making fun of this squad earlier is not because Panda Lion is bad. It's because it's unoriginal. But, like, it was also, like, the only Hail Mary that could have possibly saved us. <clears throat> and is going to, so... No sweat there. <laughs> monkey is just unoriginal. I, I say to the monkey, no, just because it's it's boring. Now, I think actually getting like a rat trigger is a, a second rat trigger pays better than the aardvark for now, but could be wrong. Lion doesn't really need that much more gas. I'd really, at this point, garlic on the lion, sure. Maybe I'd start to look a skunk instead of a, a toucan. Yeah, a skunk instead of a toucan. And then a level two aardvark would be nice. But the rat is, is kind of going off. <clears throat> I love chocolate, man. I'm so happy chocolate exists again. I lived. Whatever. Two rats. I love this for me. We win this one. No doubt. Eight wins. Holy cow, we're back. Yes. Yes. Now, we gotta be afraid. I have seen some, like, truly uh, nightmare builds in this that I'm, I must admit... Oh, dude, you having a one-up would also be amazing. That I must admit are a lot of fun. Like, level two walrus... And then a level two whale. So when... Oh, the skunk. I love a skunk, man. Let's go. So when the whale eats the walrus, it gives two of the four remaining units death touch. And then when the walrus comes back out, it comes back out as a level two. That gives two more of the units death touch. Now, it could hit the same units. But in all likelihood, you're going to have three of four units death touch on average, which is pretty solid overall. But that's, you know, you got to have the right kind of conditions for that to manifest as well. <clears throat> I mean, we're going for 10. I wouldn't mind giving it, just give it a try, man. Although, doesn't a one-up now, it always spawns a level one? That's unfortunate, but... Because I think it's meant to, like, counter the eagle build, which is not, like, what our... It's not what we're trying to do. Oh, by the way, our aardvark is dead, so <laughs> I think rip me. <laughs> oh, man. Well, okay, that you just blew me out. That's fair. I think you would have beaten me anyway based on your, your ox being so strong, but I'll take nine wins. What the hell is death touch? Death touch is a peanut. The peanut ability. Okay, look at that. Easy wins. Run me back. <clears throat> I love it. Look, I don't, here's the deal, man. A 3-4 is just a strong unit. Stats are always nice. Now, I think an iguana is great to counter a toucan. 
that I inevitably end up running it too long. But an iguana is great to counter a toucan, but you don't need it until turn two. Let's be a shiny, let's be an unintended trucker. You know, like when you get asked to help your friend move and you think it's gonna be like two hours and then you're still there like at 10 p.m. <clears throat> Happens all the time. Iguana really only pops if they have two cans, but I'm willing to bet that they probably will because I've played some of this game. All right, that's a good point. That's a pretty good point. Ah, we don't need a B. Without a two can, I don't. I sleep on a B. You ever try making a custom deck? Uh, I'm not like other streamers. I love the fedora here. I um know myself and I think that if I made a custom pack it would be worse than any pack that they've ever made like it's I, you ever play when I was a kid you know I played Tony Ox Pro Skater 1 I loved it played Tony Ox Pro Skater 2 I don't remember um the what version maybe it was Tony Ox Pro Skater 4 it came out and it had a uh, it had a skate park creator in it, right? And I was like, that's great, because the problem with all the Tony Ox Pro Skater games was that they only had like 10 levels. So I can make my own levels, and it's like an infinitely replayable game. Then you realize that shit's actually like hard. You build a, a half pipe, you build a kicker ramp onto a grind rail, then you're like, what the, it's been 45 minutes and I've got a level that's literally like a zero out of 10 relative to the levels that came with the pack to begin with. Then I just, I'm like, bro, I'm going back to Kona Skate Park. It's all, building things is always harder than it looks. To make them work right, at least. So I'm not all about that. You know what I am all about? I actually think Scampy can work. And then you sell the Otter first, because it's the most useless. That getting a buff is okay with me. You sell... Hold on, you gotta think about this. You sell the rat next. To get two apples. Whatever. You get an ox. Feed it two apples. You get sold. Buff our ox, please. Thank you so much. Scampy's good now! You add this. You add this. You know what? We get a benefit when we sell. You get melon armor, though. And plus one attack? I'm selling you next turn. The opportunity cost has finally come around, man. This is fine, because we're never going to pill anything ever again. Okay. The dream now is we go up against two cans. Ah, shit. Hold on. Mm. Oh. Oh. Something in my bones says there's a chance here. A chance to draw. They should have nerfed the ox. It was, like, oppressing. Why are you booing me? I'm right. So you need this. It's still playable, I think. Now, how about combine me, buy me, sell me, oh baby, buy me, sell me, panda me, the panda is just there as another, you know, it's buffing us, but it's also a sell trigger in the future, I, I, did I how many times have I said this so far, but I believe it, Scampy's good now. They're not good, but it's it's better than it was in the previous packs. It actually has a home now. Are we pogging? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm pogged. Look at that. Three wins. You gotta. I mean, you gotta. This also gives us more space for buy cells. Buy me. Sell me. 
It's a 1-3 buff. I'm not sweating it, sure. Now you're a 1-3 unit. Much better. Um, 2 gold for 2 HP. That might be an I sleep type of moment. You should be here now. Uh, um, okay, why don't you give me one of these then? Maybe a 1-1 one, one that then would sell. And it's going to sell nicely too. We could go rabbit two salads next turn. That's not so bad. Yeah, that's not so bad. Yeah, the problem with the scampi is that I never ever sell it <laughs> once I have it. Oh no, their uh, their wombat is gonna spit out a damn bus, dude. That's terrible. Okay, first loss. Life goes on. You know you're here, and then you're gone. You know what? You're gone. You had your chance. You're only a 310. Nobody cares. Add me. Add me. Add me. And then when we sell you, you'll, our rabbit will benefit. Too much HP. Uh, in the inimitable words of Lindsay Lohan from Mean Girls, the limit does not exist. The limit to how much HP is good does not exist. Did you watch that Netflix show about toddlers running errands? Uh, I did, and I'm going to tell you don't watch it unless you want to cry. It's the most wholesome show I've ever seen in my life. I don't know how much you've watched it in your life or since it came on Netflix like the, the, two days ago. One episode, they send a little girl out to... Uh, I forget. She has to go like uh, turn in like the washing or something like that. She has to go turn in like an apron to a laundromat. And she does it. But we, Oh, no. She, she has to give her dad his apron. Okay. And then when she gets to her dad, every, the whole time she's walking through this like idyllic Japanese town and like people are popping out of their stores going like, you can do it. Keep going. Like it's, it's the most supportive environment I've ever seen in my entire life. She makes it to her dad and is very cute and very wholesome. Then her dad gives her a side quest, which was planned for the show and is like, hey, I got a call from like the watch store mom's watch is available can you go to the watch store pick it up and then bring it home to mom and when she's walking home uh to the to trying to get to the watch store she's like two years and six months old or something like that um everyone's going you can do it keep it up and they distract her so she doesn't realize that she's walking in front of the watch store and then she's wandering around like blinking back tears and stuff like that because she can't find the watch store she gets home, she's done an amazing job. As a two and a half year old, she, she walked 200 meters away, delivered something to her dad and managed to walk home just fine. But she's in tears. She explodes because she couldn't find the watch store. It's, it's heartbreaking, man. A little funny, but also heartbreaking. And then the kid goes, I don't want to stay here. I'm going to go to, back to the watch store. And she, the, she's so determined, she goes back and does it. It's crazy. That, if that doesn't warm your heart, you got a problem. Also, there was a, another great episode where a dad has his kid deliver fish to the fishmonger. Or I guess to whoever's making the... They're turning it into sashimi. So he's walking with like a cooler full of fish. He gets 10 meters away from his house, which is on an enormous hill. One of the straps on the cooler breaks and all the fish fall onto the ground. And he can't figure out how to get them back into the cooler. Uh, and he's like almost crying, but he's trying to use like sticks to pick them up because they're so slippery to put them back. Anyway, eventually he puts the fish back in like half an hour later. And then he goes and finds like a stranger to get him to fix the cooler. And then he walks like another... 10 minutes maybe and then the cooler breaks again and he's got to pick up uh the fish again off the ground anyway it's very funny he he's like every time it happens he's like ah, he's like wiping his hands because they're so slippery on stuff anyway 
So he gets the fish made into sashimi and then he buys like the apples and oranges his mom sent him to the grocery store for. And then he's climbing up the hill to get back to his house with the apples and the oranges. And it's so, because he accidentally bought like five kilos of milk. So he's, he's five years old. He's holding it like this. And he's walking up the hill like, and then he's tired. So he sets down the bags and then both of his apples just roll like 50 meters down the hill, almost into the center of the, the busy road that's at the bottom. So he has to go all the way down, get the apples, go all the way back up. He walks like another block up, sets the bags down, and the apples roll out again. Oh, man. That kid had a, a crazy day. Anyway, I would definitely recommend watching it. It's so good. The first time that the, the fish dropped, I laughed really hard. The second time, I was really sad for him. Every subsequent time that he dropped something, I laughed like... It was like a Fibonacci sequence of laughter. I laughed with the sum of the previous two incidents put together. Anyway, hold on. We got 11 gold. This is it easy? Buy me. Sell me. You have a sell trigger, but it's ass. I would buy a salad. I would freeze the salad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a buy me, sell me for 2 HP. And then add a wombat to possibly get a faint trigger. But I'm basically, I'm just taking a stab at that one. Three wins, four life. It's doable. It's doable. I didn't spoil the entire show, Point Dexter. There's like literally 20 episodes. I spoiled two episodes. And it's a show about kids running errands. You know, Thanos isn't going to pop out of a portal like your favorite movie of all time and, like, turn anybody to dust, okay? Fluffy D. Luffy is not going to get a different pirate hat that allows him to double jump. It's not that big of a deal. It's more like a vibe than it is, like, the kind of thing where you'd be worried about, like, a synopsis or something. Okay. Give me another salad. I'm not running Parrot Ox. I'll buy a beaver, sell a beaver. Plus two, plus two. People want to be pedantic. I'm running on like four and a half hours of sleep ten days in a row. They want to hit me with these little these little snipes. Mmm, bad faith, bad faith. A little, mmm, this one kills at the high school cafeteria. Mmm, mmm. You're in the marketplace of ideas with a fucking adult, man. I will defend myself and reflect the bad faith back on you. I'm not going to be like the people you sit with at the cafeteria that go, ha, 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 because they don't want to make you feel uncomfortable, okay? Your shit's got to be cogent if it's going to work here. The teachers can't tell you what they really think of you because your mom, you would cry, your mom would call the school, and they'd be like, he's only 17, be nice to him. Once you fucking matriculate, you make it into the real world, people will start being honest to you. This is the vibe you're going to get when you act like a dickhead. Okay, anyway, let me think for a second here. Give me a toucan, sell it. Give me a deer, run it, combine it. We don't need more scampi. Why croissant on ox? I don't know, I just thought like an ox that gets buffed would be nice. I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, what the heck? They aardvark sniped me. Not quite enough. That's the, the ox nerf put out a hit on us right there. It's my favorite NL character. People will legit be like, why are you so mad? I was just making a joke at your expense that I thought you wouldn't even read. Uh, sorry. Here's five gift subs. Okay, combine me. I'm not a buy me, sell me here. I'll definitely salad. I mean, I gotta tell you, three one ones is not so bad. And then we could sell something in the future. We could freeze a garlic for the moment. The only problem is nothing has any attack. Straight up, you're gone. We're gonna take a Hail Mary 
skunk onto the squad. I don't think Buffalo's doing it for us. Three foods, though? Okay, let's see. Yeah, the garlic is not as... That was more of like a, a lark. Hey, Willie Smile, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. So now do I admit that I wasn't mad and feel bad? Or do I pretend that I was really mad so it seems like I'm being compensated for my emotional distress? It's the streamer's dilemma. I think we hope for a level 2 Siberian Husky. The moose is good. I just, I think we're already, we're on a vibe right now, okay? Distributed foods will serve us well. Wait, it's only round 10. Believers, doubters, I give you a 50-50 chance here. I think you're both on 50-50 right now. That lion is... The lion didn't work because they bought a freaking alpaca. It doesn't just happen to me. It happens to lots of guys. Believers win. Okay. Husky levels up. Now, I'll be real with you. I love the idea of you giving a random friend death touch. The problem is, if it hits our ox, it probably fizzles. So where the heck do you place it? I don't, I don't think it has a place. I'm sorry to say, I don't think it has an R slash place. You could put it behind, but then if it hits the back unit, like, chat got really mad at me for doing that last time. So I'm not sure that's the play either. You know what you can do? Give me one of these, and then maybe have your husky just get buffed a little bit, because it doesn't compromise the other buffs, and we're on a terminal amount of gold anyway. The rabbit is probably the next unit to go. It's definitely the next unit to go, though. You're past the threshold, just have fun. You know what? That's that words to live by. Words to live by, I would say. Just have fun. When did we forget about that? Why do people bat chest everything I care about? Jay, I, look, I watched some of the game and I actually feel like it's the best version of this game that's ever come out. But Lego Star Wars has got to be like the mo most bat chestable media product that has ever come out. <laughs> it's... Especially when I was watching people play the prequels. I was like, oh, man. Bad chest, bad chest, bad... I'm sorry! I look, look at how much more came out here after I shouldn't have even mentioned it. I still got a little sad when... Um, when you were playing and Kiati Mundi got betrayed. I hate when he's, just, he's standing on, like, whatever that, like balcony is that veranda and then like he's walking and he sees like the droids and then he turns around or he's walking with his army and then he hears like their guns get ready to fire and he turns around and he knows he's like what the hell man who's gonna tell my 11 wives what happened to me on kashik that's canonical by the way Kiati Mundi is a, is a canonical polygamist. You can go check uh, Wikipedia. I'm not joking. Like, genuinely not joking. Okay, what if you ran rabbit at the front and then one-up deer just to go, like, kind of sicko mode? Uh, then Now the deer is not going to get a buff from the husky, which is kind of ass. I didn't really think about that, but... Alas, <laughs> here we are. Uh, I, look, I don't think it's bad, but I think it's... We could have done better with our gold. I don't think that was a, a bad thing overall, but I think we could have done better things with our gold. Okay. I don't know. We had seven wins. I'm kind of surprised. Not to be a, a nerd, but that's old canon. I guess that's true, right? All the canon got erased so that Disney could put their own fingerprints on it. And they've done a really great job so far, as we can all agree. My melon armor? My melons? Whatever, we win these. 
I'm not, look, I'm not even like, okay, I should be careful with how I say this. I was going to say I'm not anti-Disney, but like I'm not anti-Disney in the same way that like Chad is, where they're like, no company should be allowed to roll that stuff up. I'm more anti-Disney just because I think they did a bad job with the Star Wars sequels. Like, why would you wipe all the canon and be like, we're going to do a bunch of new stuff, so we got to get like a clean slate. And then your clean slate is, guess what? Is Palpatine. Is Palpatine again. Just doesn't make any damn sense. Come on, dude, I don't know. At this point, we're kind of pot committed, I think. I will say that Disney Plus has some, it's got some good stuff, man. I haven't seen Moon Knight yet. I've, I've been kind of like unmarveled for a, for a moment here, for a bit. Uh, I think we lose, is my guess. That's my take here. Never mind, I think maybe we win, actually. I think maybe we draw. I think maybe we lose, all right. Still, I'm happy we, we at least managed to pay out the believers. But Only Murders in the Building was actually like a great show. That's Hulu. I forgot. This is Canadian Disney Plus. In a weird twist of fate, Canadian Disney Plus is actually like American Netflix. It's like the best version of the product. Because we don't have Hulu, so all the Hulu shit just comes out on Disney Plus here. <laughs> 